Hello, my name is Kerry Martell. I'm the co-founder of a brand new gym here in Newburgh, Oregon called Power Palace. And in this facility, we have this kind of 1980s, early 90s sort of theme. I really wanted to hearken back to the, the fitness craze of the 80s, early 90s, which, you know, for me personally is my favorite period of fitness culture. You know, we've got really developed uh, understanding of what goes into making um, weight loss happen quickly and effectively and how to just build amazing physiques, the most muscular that you've ever seen and still be relatively healthy at the same time. That's what the 80s was about. That's what the 90s was about. And uh, I just love that period and I wanted to, to just sort of come back to that. And in that spirit, I searched out machines uh, from the Natalus line, in particular the Next Generation series, which were produced, uh, I think they started getting produced in the late 70s and into the 80s. They were the last line that had any real input from the inventor of the Nautilus machines, Arthur Jones, who, if you don't know who Arthur Jones is, I really recommend you, you do some research on him. He revolutionized fitness culture in the 70s. And uh, you know, then you started seeing people like Sergio Olivio, who was already huge, right? One of, the, one of the best bodybuilders in the world. He got so big, he actually beat Arnold Schwarzenegger in contest, right? And he did it using these Natalus machines. So these are fantastic machines and, and they're older machines, right? These are definitely, you know, about as old as I am. But uh, these are some amazing things that you can do. And I wanted to just show off a little bit about how to use these correctly, because there is a specific method that you're supposed to use with these machines. And I'll talk a little bit about that. So Arthur Jones developed a specific way to use his machines with a philosophy that focused on trying to just squeeze out every little bit of strength in your muscle fibers in particular groups. And this book I'm holding in my hand wasn't written by him, but it was written based upon his material. This was actually published in 1982. It's the Nautilus Bodybuilding book by uh, Dr. Ellington Darden. It has a foreword, of course, by Mike Menser, who was a big believer in the Nautilus machines. He's a great bodybuilder himself. So I'm standing here in front of the super pullover machine, which is designed with these principles in mind. So as an example, this was designed to let you basically do a squat with your upper body. It uses all the major groups of, of the upper body in the motion. And you load it by stepping on to this platform here, and you bring your elbows in real tight, and then you pull them down, and you let go of the bar, and now you're in, in, in position for using the machine. Make sure your back straight against it and just pull it down. And a lot of people like to use machines real fast. That's not how this works, right? You let it slowly go back, okay? You try to do resistance against it. And then you slowly pull down on the machine. And your goal is to try to maximize the time that your muscles are under pressure, right? The time that the muscle is being contracted because that's what fully exhausts a muscle. And there's a couple different ways that you can use this machine. You can use it in the basic way, the way that I'm using it right now. This is the correct way to use the machine. Another thing that can be done is you have somebody else who's uh, putting the machine down into the, 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 the maximum position, right? The forward position, which would be about here. And then they release it for you and you do what's called a negative rep where you try to you know, do exactly what I'm doing here, maximize your time under stress by slowly moving the machine back up into its top position. And then once you get there, the other, the other person, the trainer, will help you uh, put it back down into position again. So those are the two main methods by which you use these machines. And I'd really recommend the first machine, the, the negative reps, it requires a buddy, not everybody has a buddy to work out with, but um, the main method, that's gonna be fine for most people. The negative reps is really when you're, if you're a professional bodybuilder, you're really trying to, to get your muscles shocked, right? So that they'll grow, they stigger, uh, try to trigger growth beyond um, what you already have, where you've already been lifting for years. That's really what the negative rep version of training is really about. 
Okay, another important design principle of the Nautilus machines is that they were designed to be used as part of supersetting. And supersetting is whenever you do two exercises back to back. In this case, this machine is the double chest machine and it is equipped with an iron cross where it's kind of a pec, uh, similar to a pec deck a lot of people have used, but your goal is to bring your chest uh, really to be maximally contracted by squeezing into it and doing it again as slow as you can to maximize time under pressure. And to be honest, I'm actually going faster with it than I probably should be. When you finish doing uh, as many reps as you possibly can with the Iron Cross, then you superset by stepping on this platform here to bring down these bars, and now you're gonna go into an incline press. And the purpose of this is to really uh, try to maximize uh, what muscle strength you have still in your chest. Really focus on the chest, not so much the triceps or the biceps or anything like that. And you're really trying to maximize uh, the amount of time under tension, under pressure, that your muscle is under. That's the goal of this design of this machine. And there's a lot of Nautilus machines that are designed like this in mind. Another thing you can do is use these bicep and tricep machines as part of a circuit with the weight, uh, weight uh, resistance pull-up, chin-up, dip bar station. So you'd come in here and you do the multi-bicep, right? You do a couple reps with it. Then you go over to the tricep station and you do a couple reps with this until you feel like you just can't do any more of these karate chops with the tricep machine anymore, right? Then, once you're finished with the tricep machine, you hop on over here to the weight assisted chin up and you do chin ups. And this creates, you know, so much stress on these muscle groups that are all related to each other. It really maximizes the amount of strength you can just get out of your muscles, which is important for triggering that explosive growth of muscle size. Switch over to a pull up, all right? Switch over to a dip. Just maximize how much time under tension your muscles are going through through these different exercises, making sure that you're hitting all the different parts of these muscle groups because with different exercises that you do, you don't always hit uh, at all the parts. So the bicep, right? The bicep isn't just one muscle. It's actually a couple different muscles together. It's what's called bicep, tricep, your chest area. These are different muscles that are all part of a system, part of a group. And you often have to do different exercises to really maximize, you know, to really, to really hit them all, the whole range, which is why these machines are so excellent because when you use them correctly, and you use them in, in, a, in a circuit with each other, they really hit all these different little tiny muscle groups together. And this gives you a great burn, right? And, and it's terrific, and it's why these were so effective for so many legendary bodybuilders. Now, the other thing that you should really know is that you don't just use, or rather, you don't have to just use the Nautilus machines to, in a circuit together, right? You can have a circuit where you're using dumbbells, right? You're doing some dumbbell exercises, and then you hop over onto one of the bicep or the tricep machines, or the chest, one of the chest machines, the pullover machine. You can create your own workout. You don't necessarily have to follow the Nautilus methods, okay, from the 80s. You can, you can make up your own stuff and see what works for you with your limitations. I have a shoulder injury from my army days, right? So I have to often adjust my exercise routines that I'm copying from other people to accommodate my shoulder injury. And a lot of people are that way too. The, the important thing really is that these machines are very excellent. They're, they're in great condition. These are great, condi great shape. And these are, you know, some of the greatest machines ever made for getting explosive muscle growth. You want to get bigger, you want to get swole, you want to get, you want to be a stud, right? These are the machines for that. And you can use them if you're a guy or a girl. In fact, um, 
some of these machines are really great for women trying to hit certain groups that are sometimes a little bit difficult for them to do. The other thing you should know is that we don't just have the Nihilus machines, right? We've also got hammer strength machines. And what a lot of people don't know is that hammer strengths actually use a lot of the same design principles uh, that Arthur Jones put into the Nihilus machines. The other thing you should know is that Nihilus machines were also very popularly used for rehab, rehabilitation, physical therapy, and things. In fact, some of these machines, the reason that they're in such great condition is because they were being used for physical therapy for, for many, many years. So people didn't use a lot of heavy weights on the chains, which is why they're in such great condition. So just something you should think about. You don't have to be interested just in bodybuilding if you just want to you know, get back in shape. These are excellent. This is, this is more than you need, honestly. And uh, if you eat right, you got lots of protein, get lots of rest, and you use these machines together, you're going to get swole. You're going to get, you're going to look really, really good in a pretty fast time, to be honest. So that's just a little bit of a peek at some of the machines uh, that we have here. I should, uh, I'm going to turn this around and show you which Nautilus machines that we have at our gym right now. So we have the bench machine, bench press. Of course, we have the double chest, I mentioned before, iron cross inclined press. Uh, right next to it, we have the 10 degree chest, which is basically like a line fly peck. And it's a very deep exercise. You bear hug that thing. And uh, between these two, you're basically hitting your whole chest, especially if you incorporate the super pullover, as I mentioned before. This is one of the best, best pieces of exercise equipment that's ever been engineered. Uh, hasn't often been imitated. You rarely see these things. Uh, they're really quite rare, rare these days, but all of the best bodybuilding gyms in the world have one of these machines, if not several of these machines, because they're so good and they're in such high demand. We have uh, leg curl and leg extension machines here as well, sitting right next to each other. We have the ab crunch machine. A lot of people don't know about trying to get a six pack. You know, you can really do as many crunch and sit-ups as you want. At some point, you need to add resistance to the motion to really stimulate uh, additional growth. So if you really want to have huge, huge abs, you need a machine like this, and then you need the torso twist that we have right here as well. Of course, we also have a lateral raise machine. If you want to get yourself uh, some huge shoulders, this is the thing to go with. Uh, of course, as I mentioned before, the tricep and the bicep machine. And that is about all the Nautilus machines that we have in here. Now, I've supplemented them with other machines, right? This is also a built-driven uh, four-way neck machine. And that's excellent as well if you want to get a nice yoked neck. Of course, we also have the belt-driven lat pull-down, okay? Which complements very well with the chains. If you can't use chains, then you should use belts at least, right? Kevlar belts. And then we have it right next to a, um, uh, a pulley row. This is using a pulley because you kind of have to use a, a pulley for a row. But uh, it is what it is. We also have a couple hammer strengths. You'll notice back there in the corner, we have a front military press hammer strength machine, and then we have a chest machine as well. So we've got lots of other stuff as well, leg press, a couple different, uh, actually we have a leg extension hammer strength over there, not quite assembled at the moment, and uh, lots of other stuff. We also have a hammer strength base jammer. If you're really interested in contact sports, uh, that's the thing for you. It's basically uh, really great if you're in football or wrestling. It's an awesome, excellent piece of equipment. Lots of other great stuff in here, but this video's probably gotten pretty long. But anyway, I just wanted to show off a little bit of some of the collection I've assembled. You know, I really think this is going to be an excellent gym for people who are just looking for general fitness and for people who are looking for, you know, to do be competitive bodybuilders. Um, we've also got stuff here for power lifters as well. Talk about that in another video. But I just wanted to... Just talk a little bit about the Nautilus stuff because people might be wondering, like, Carrie, why do you have these 30-year-old machines in your gym? I have them because they're some of the best machines that were ever made. And anybody who knows anything about bodybuilding will, will tell you the same thing. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
found informative, and I'll see you at my gym.